So I managed to catch a snook on the jetties this morning, and that was one of my goals for this trip was to get over to the Jupiter Inlet and catch a snook, and we can just walk there from where we're at. It's just a five minute walk, carry my fishing pole and my backpack and a couple of cameras. And we went over there this morning to catch the sunrise and caught a nice snook about 24 inches long. So I figure I'll put together a video on Still seeing them? Did you see that? He, he busted it. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nothing I can do with him. Is a little snook. Picture with him? Yeah. What a great time to finally catch a snook. Nope. All right. You ready? How's that, Holly? Perfect. Let's go let him go. Wait. to show you was my my uh, rigs here I got a two-man kayak and a one-man kayak and either the cheapest sit-in kayaks that you can find um, got them at Academy uh, each one is probably worth less than four hundred dollars I don't know what they cost now but I've had them for quite a while and they work for me one man on the left and the two men on the right and then uh, I love to fish topwaters for the snook. The explosions are violent and it, uh, they're just heart attack type hits. They'll knock the lures five feet up in the air and then come back and eat them. <clears throat> Get a lot of hits, a lot of strikes, and uh, the hookups are, are hard to accomplish, but once in a while you hook one up.
get it from everywhere. What a fish. You get one crack at these things, they don't hit twice. Unless there's another one there, which is oftentimes the case. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 such a good fish. That's, 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 that's why I fish for these snooks with this top water because the blow ups just give me heart attack and uh, you got to get about 10 blow ups to get about one hook up but man I tell you those blow ups are just fun that was right by the boat <clears throat> so this morning I was using a, a bomber a three and a half inch floater uh, it's a badonka donk half ounce and it's kind of a mullet imitation and uh, I, I walked the dog with it and it uh, it's uh, it's a pretty pretty good lure it's on 20 pound fluorocarbon and that's kind of my go-to daytime fishing rig right there for the surface and then at nighttime if I go to the lights or if I'm fishing around the docks I use uh, this one knocker uh, spook a heading and also I love to use this bone colored uh, head and spook junior and you can see size wise it's a little bit smaller than the one knocker but they, they they'll clobber both of these lures usually I'll carry both rods and if they hit and miss on one I'll throw the other one and vice versa I've got both of these on a 50 pound braid and uh, I kind of <laughs> need that braid because they uh, hit and take these kayaks right into the pilings. And uh, I've lost a lot of $10 lures to these, uh, these strong snook. A snook bite. So, <laughs> as you can see, I lost my bomber right here by the dock. Big snook right over there around those pilings. <laughs> and that's that's the life of snook fishing with a kayak. <laughs> you can't stop them. He was a good one been fishing all day in the kayak I've been fishing all day in the kayak caught a couple of small barracuda nothing serious and I come right back here to the dock and a snook was chasing bait right down that wall and so I went up under there and I cast down the wall and I hooked him and had him on for 10 seconds wrapped me around those pilings <laughs> and of course everybody knows what 
pilings and barnacles due to 20 pound fluorocarbon. So that's kind of my, my system. And I've got uh, mostly loose reels, bait casters, and uh, kayaks. And so without too much investment, you can fish these mangroves and have a lot of fun chasing these snook and also catch the byproducts, the uh, Jack or Val are fun to tie into, they'll, they'll keep you going and, and other miscellaneous fish, barracuda and sometimes a snapper or two. We're paddling in the Atlantic Ocean. Sunrise. We'll go wherever you want to go, huh? We can go to Bahamas if we want to. I see a dog, maybe two dogs at two o'clock. went straight out, didn't it? Oh, Holly, Holly, I got him. Just, just, we're good. We're good. See what we got. <laughs> it's little. It's, I mean, it's, no, it's not a turtle. Let's see what we got. See if it's got teeth. It's a little, uh, what is it? A little bluefish or pompano? You know what it is? You know what I call it? It's bait. <laughs> it's a little Jack Creval, Holly. <laughs> How about that? Be the first fish I've ever caught with a fishing pole in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm swimming. <laughs> yep. I saw him swimming and I cast in front and he nailed it. <laughs> There's about a four foot snuck over here. Oh boy. I can't. You good?
uh, had a really good week this week. Had a lot of fun. Capped it off with that snook this morning at sunrise with my wife and my daughter. And uh, it's been a it's been a good week in Southern Florida. So uh, goodbye, Jupiter, Florida. Hello, Louisiana. It's mid-August, and I'm starting to think about uh, deer season. So thanks for watching.